Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kroger roast beef deli style flatbread sandwiches. It is roast beef, provolone cheese, and caramelized onions on a flatbread. It is 20 grams of protein per serving. Um, there are two, uh, ready less than two minutes, sorry. Uh, we bought these at Kroger, of course, for $2.99. Not bad. I don't know how new they are, but we have never seen these before at all. Kroger, at least. They didn't say new anywhere, but, uh, but we've never seen them. It says easy heat and serve. Um, it's not low calorie. It's 450 calories for the sandwich, and here's your other info for you. But 450 calories, I guess it's not bad. It's pretty good size. So, um, preparation instructions um, you can do it in the microwave from frozen. It is remove the poly wrap, wrap sandwich in a paper towel, and place in the microwave. Microwave hot for 140 to 2 minutes until hot, and let it stand for 1 minute. I'll probably do 145. My, my microwave is pretty good, so I'm going to do 145. You can also do it in a conventional oven if you'd like. Now, there's the, there's the directions if you want to bake these in the oven, and you can pan fry them as well. So, um, I have no idea what I'm expecting here. So, because it says sandwich, then it says flatbread. So, I don't, I'm not sure that's a big sandwich. Oh, okay, so it's basically two pieces of uh, or a, a thinner bread, kind of like a focaccia bread, except the doesn't have the seasoning on it. But so, you get the roast beef and the cheese and stuff on top of that. Huh, interesting. That's a pretty good size sandwich. So I'm going to, it is, let me tell you how much it weighs. It is seven, 7.85 ounces or 222 grams. So uh, yeah, so it's a pretty good size. So I'm going to wrap this in a paper towel, uh, put it back on this paper plate and get in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. Um, I did cut it in half and this is the bottom. I flipped it over, but I don't think, uh, this one doesn't have a ton of moisture in the bread like some sandwiches did. Where I always tell you, flip them over. So it doesn't get um, wet and nasty on the bottom, but you can see how much meat and cheese is in there. It's quite a bit, and there's some. I see some onions there too. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute just to cool off. Um, but yeah, that's it smells really good. And by the way, the bread super soft. It's hot, but it's uh, it's good and soft. So that's good. It's not hard. So I'll be right back. All right, I think I gave it enough time to cool off to where I could eat it without uh, burning my mouth. So it's not a super thick sandwich. It kind of reminds me of. Uh, um, the thickness of like a White Castle's cheeseburger or a hamburger, that's the kind of thickness it is. And that's actually what the bread kind of feels like. It is warm in the middle, but it's not what I'd call super hot. So I'd probably bump my time up next time if I have one of these again and go 150 instead of 145. Again, it always takes a little time to, to adjust your microwave. But this one, it needed about five more seconds to really, really get the middle hot. I mean, it's plenty warm enough. It's warm. Cheese is all melted. The bread is good and warm. It's just, uh, could have used just a little extra hit of, uh, of heat on it. Um, the flavors, by the way, are excellent. The bread is good. I love the bread. It's good and soft. Um, it has like a, I can show you, it kind of has a, a pull to it. Um, it's not like white bread. It's, it's not that smushy. It's kind of got a chewiness to it. Not quite as chewy as like a pretzel bread, but it has some denseness to it. And the roast beef is very, very well well seasoned, well flavored. You can taste the onions. The cheese, I'm sure I would miss it if it wasn't there, but it's not like a, ooh, that's cheese. I don't really get that. Hmm. That is just an overall really good sandwich. Um, you may want to put a little... Um, you may want to put a little salt or pepper on there, or you may want to put some sauce on there. I don't think it needs it, me personally, but you may want to put... i tell you what, you know what would make this even better? By itself, it's excellent. Don't get me wrong. But if you had some packets of Arby's sauce from Arby's, the white, the red sauce, and squirted some of that on there, it put it over the top. It's that good. Hmm. Now, I'm really impressed with that. And I could definitely see where it'd be 450 calories. Because it's a good size sandwich and it's um it's got a lot of bread but it's not thick like doughy bread it's it's a, i love the texture of the bread so i'm gonna give this a five out of five this is definitely a sandwich i would recommend you try out um it, like i said if you had some condiments put on there it'd even push it over the edge even more so um i think it's good just the way it is definitely worth trying out if you get a kroger in your area and you see these um i would buy them the three dollars for for this big a sandwich is, is nothing so Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.